Ever been in the middle of a match, everything feels buttery smooth, then suddenly your FPS tanks, inputs feel delayed, and your PC sounds like it's running Windows Update instead of your game? That's not bad luck. That's Windows literally prioritizing background tasks over your game. Yeah, the system you bought for gaming is often told by Windows to give more love to update services, background indexing, or random apps running in the tray. Today, we are flipping that script. I'll show you how to force Windows to stop treating your game like a background task and instead give it the highest possible priority. We'll use real system tweaks, registry edits, hidden power settings, no sketchy downloads, all safe. Step 1. Processor Scheduling. Flip the switch. Windows manages your CPU time by splitting it between programs, foreground apps like your game, and background services, things like Windows Update, printer spoolers, or network tasks. On many systems, the balance isn't tuned for gaming, meaning critical CPU cycles can get siphoned away by services you don't even care about mid-match. To fix this, we'll tell Windows to give maximum preference to the program you're actively running, your game. Press Win plus R, type sysdm.cpl, and press Enter. Go to the Advanced tab. Under Performance, click Settings. In the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab. Under Processor Scheduling, you'll see two choices, Programs, Foreground Priority, or Background Services, default for servers, sometimes laptops too. Select Programs, then click Apply, then OK, and then restart your PC. That's it. This small flip ensures Windows always gives the majority of CPU resources to your game or any app you're directly interacting with, rather than background tasks. Note, if you use your PC as a workstation for rendering, servers, or VMs, you might prefer background services. But for gaming, programs is always the right call. Step 2. Disable background apps and widgets. Here's how to strip it down. Remove bloat you never use. Go to Settings, then Apps, and then Installed Apps. Uninstall things like Cortana, Clipchamp, Xbox Game Bar if you don't record or stream, and other Microsoft extras you never touch. Do this for store apps, edge add-ons, widgets, and anything else that doesn't need to run silently. Step 3. Disable Game DVR and Xbox services. One of the most overlooked performance drains in Windows 10 11 is the Xbox Game Bar, Game DVR, and related Xbox services. Even if you never press the record button, these features quietly run in the background, capturing system metrics, reserving resources for recording, and occasionally stealing CPU GPU cycles when you least expect it. The result? Random input lag spikes, slower frame pacing, and higher memory usage, all for features you probably never use unless you stream from your console. Here's how to shut it down completely. Kill Game Bar. Press Win plus I to Gaming to Xbox Game Bar and toggle Off. Go to Captures and turn Background Recording Off. This stops Windows from reserving bandwidth for clips and screenshots. Disable Services. Open services.msc, locate and disable these. Xbox Live Off Manager, Xbox Accessory Management Service, and Xbox Game Monitoring, sometimes called XBGM. If you never use Xbox Crossplay or Game Pass Streaming, these serve no purpose. Optional Deeper Cut. Open Task Manager, Startup, and disable any Xbox-related entries. Once these are gone, Windows no longer silently competes with your game for CPU priority. You'll notice smoother input response and slightly lower memory usage. For competitive players, this means fewer unexplained dips when alt-tabbing or switching voice apps. Step 4. Power Throttling. Hidden Killer. One of Windows 11's smart efficiency features is power throttling. 
designed to extend battery life on laptops by limiting how much power apps can use when they're running in the background. Sounds useful, right? The problem, Windows isn't always good at telling what's background. Some games or launchers get flagged incorrectly and end up with reduced CPU power allocation, meaning lower FPS, sluggish response, and even random stutters. The good news is, you can disable it entirely with a quick registry tweak. Fix it with Registry Editor. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, enter. Navigate to, look for Power Throttling Off. If it doesn't exist, create a new D-word, 32-bit value, and name it exactly that. Set the value equal to 1. Restart your PC. Now, Windows won't throttle your foreground or background tasks, meaning your games can always access full CPU resources without being silently downgraded in the name of efficiency. Step 5. Network Priority Fix – Low Latency Mode Background services love hogging your internet too. OneDrive, telemetry, updates. Open registry. Create D-word TCP ACK frequency equals 1. Create D-word TCP no delay equals 1. This reduces latency spikes by prioritizing your active app's network traffic instead of background chatter. Step 6. Disable Windows Update Delimery Optimization This one's sneaky. Windows will use your internet to upload updates to other PCs. Settings, then Windows Update, then Advanced Options, then Delivery Optimization. Turn off Allow Downloads from Other PCs. No more background update traffic during your game. Step 7. Use GPU Scheduling and Hardware Priority Let's make sure your GPU prioritizes frames for your game, not background overlays. Search Graphics Settings in Start. Enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Then scroll down. Add your game executable, then set to High Performance. This binds GPU cycles to your game process. Step 8. Adjust IRQ Priority. Hidden Tweak. Most gamers never touch this, but Windows assigns priority to hardware interrupts, IRQs. These interrupts tell your CPU when devices need attention, like audio, network cards, or USB controllers. Normally, Windows balances them automatically, but sometimes non-critical devices get priority over your GPU or CPU threads running the game. The result? Tiny but noticeable frame drops, stutters, or input lag spikes. You can fix this with a simple registry tweak. Step 9. Real-time game priority. Finally, force your game's process to run at high or real-time priority. Launch game. Open Task Manager. Details tab. Right-click your games.exe, set priority, high. For automation, create a .bat file that launches your game with start slash high, game name.exe. This ensures your game always outranks background tasks in CPU priority. And that's how you fix one of Windows 11's most frustrating hidden behaviors, background tasks stealing resources from your game. We flipped processor scheduling, shut down DVR, blocked power throttling, tweaked registry priorities, optimized network traffic, and made sure your game always gets top tier priority. No more random FPS drops because Windows decided telemetry was more important than your headshot. If this helped, drop a like. Hit subscribe for more real gamer tweaks and let me know in the comments which step gave you the biggest boost. Your PC should serve you, not background junk. Now go enjoy smooth gameplay without Windows holding you back.